biggest one yet. the roots on this tumbleweed and it ripped off on the top here yet but look at the roots on that thing that's not even a big tumbleweed really I'm out here hoeing on my on my peanut field I got a quite a bit of weeds as you can see across the field you can probably see that area right here is where I already went one round. Now I'm doing this here. So quite a bit of weeds out here. Been getting some good rain. We got another uh, another two inches on Saturday night. another two tenths last night so we're getting quite a bit of rain so all a lot of these little weeds are coming up got a bunch of grass problem too gotta get, take care of that yet for now I'm just doing the tumble weeds and pig weeds careless weeds they call these are actually called Rus Russian thistles but we call them tumble weeds a lot of people know them as tumbleweeds these are pigweeds or careless weeds they each weed sheds like if you let it seed out it'll shed like 100,000 seeds so you got to get them before they start growing before they start seeding out and there's a different there's like I would say three or four different types of pigweeds yet. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing this pretty much this whole week, so. This week, uh, it's kinda hard to hold with one hand. I'll probably just be doing this most of the week. So this, vid so this week's video might be pretty short. But, yeah, just gonna hoe out some weeds here. Um, my wife was helping me before lunch, but after lunch she's going to work at the house, so I'm just going to be working here by myself for a while. Try to get this field done, clean it up. talking about here? You can see these little ones right here? It's full of little ones everywhere. Look at this. It's like a blanket just coming up. Those are all growing into be pigweeds like those those bigger ones soon your field looks worse than this so <clears throat> I'm probably gonna run the sweep rig on it one more time or I'm gonna come and throw some chemical over this field um, I don't like we don't like spraying peanuts with chemical because it sets them back a while I don't know how long probably about a week or two or so but yeah, we don't like doing that because it sets the peanuts back. And uh, then you got to recover them and you just, you get you fall behind. So but I'll probably have to this year because all those little ones, you know, you can't get them all. Uh, I'm not going to, you can't sit here and hoe them all because then you would be here for a couple of years. Literally, you would be here for a couple of years. There is five zillion of them. But yeah, um, I'll keep and I'll keep y'all updated on what I decide this week. Yet I might even spray it this week, and then I probably won't even have to hold these big ones. We'll see. But uh, I got a chemical guy coming over here, and he's gonna give me my options. He's gonna come check my peanuts and everything anyway. So 
Till then, I guess I'll just sit here and hope. <laughs> So now I'm uh, getting this wheat drill ready on my on our 45-55. Gonna fill up some seed. The seed is back back there in front of the forklift. And I open up these lids and we've been getting a little bit of rain. Looks like it's starting to grow in here. So probably the holes might be stopped up. So I'm gonna have to probably clean up the holes, make sure every disc sews. And uh, yeah, I'm getting this ready for my brother. He wants to sew his dry land that he had to fail out. He had some stuff that baked on him. Um, he planted before the rain and we had a very hard rain, so it got very hard and the cotton couldn't push through. And by the time we got the scratcher there and scratched it and um, to crack the, the top, shell loose uh, the cotton was already too weak so it didn't make it so he's uh playing the rod reader right now and then we're gonna sew in some hay grazer and then he will hopefully make some bales with it but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do that for him and i think i'm gonna call it a day me and my wife just hoed till three o'clock so i'm pretty exhausted and pretty good sunburned i don't know if you can tell but um uh, i've been I've been hoeing without a shirt. I went all day today without a shirt, so we'll see how bad I'm sunburned. But yeah, we can get this done and go home and relax. As you can see, it's all starting to root together in there. So what I did was just rip out all the pieces and now I'm gonna put new seed in there. break on my peanuts here where I'm hoeing um, still a little bit too wet but I need to get all these little weeds dead all the little ones that I showed you um, the sweet breaks taking care of them care of them pretty good uh, pretty sure I get most of them all of them actually uh, I got pretty sick uh, from allergies I guess from the weeds pollen or something I don't know sick as a dog sick as a dad gone dog but yeah if, uh, all these big ones that are in the field here the, the sweet break doesn't even do anything to them every now and then it'll cut one out or two but it's not very likely that it'll cut any of them out It's cutting out all the small weeds, and that's all I care about. We got to, to there to hoe. We got uh, right about there is up to where we are with hoeing. So, probably another three days on this half, and then we got that other half, but I'm watering that half right now. Putting, uh, putting the entering, <coughs> inch of water down on that half. Because uh, after you run the sweet breed, you gotta let it dry out a little bit so the weeds die. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this here. I should finish early today. 
and uh, I only started after lunch, but let's see how, how good I feel, how late I'll be able to go. Pretty sick. Here's quite a bit of weeds. There, you see those? In front of the tire. And they're all gone. A lot of them get cut out, and a lot of them get. Um, A lot of them get covered with sand so they don't come back. I'm gonna do this here now. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna finish holding the big ones. And then if, later on in the year, if they come back, I'll run, I'll sweet, I'll, I'll spray it with some chemical and kill it. But yeah, thanks for watching.